Hello, I'm Beanie G Delicious. Today we're doing a review on September Munch Pack. Let's get started. Now, I don't actually know what's inside this Munch Pack. You're going to find out along with me. Looks like I have here the booklet. Not very important. And now what do we have? Let's get the first item. Let's do a taste test of this crispy bacon. It's made by Mackenzie's of Scotland. Gently cooked to perfection. Oh, let's see what's involved in this. And this is Ernie. So here we go. Just stay with me. This is my first tasting experience of the Munch Pack. Smells like uh, nothing. I hope these aren't stale. Well, let's take a look inside and see what it is. It's a chip. This is made in uh, best before 2021, so I guess we're still okay. Made in Scotland. Doesn't taste like any kind of chip I've ever had. Now, does it have a Scottish taste? I don't know what Scottish taste tastes like. Now, do I like it? Let me have another try. The first taste was quite revolting. But after that, I'm starting to become a little bit Scottish. We'll say it's maybe a 7 out of 10. Now what do we have here? More Scottish chips? Sunrise snacks. <laughs> Sunshine snack snacks, extreme barbecue, ole, tortilla chip, and it is made in hmm, still trying to get that Scottish taste out of my mouth. It's somewhere in Jamaica. Let's, let's find out if this is really the old layer that it says it is. Oh, but that's, that's right. That's why I have these scissors here. Because these chips, apparently Jamaicans are very strong. They don't need scissors. Yes, triangular shaped. Smells like nothing. Hmm. Very barbecuey. If you compare them to the North American uh, Dorito chips, they kind of taste a little more dry and. Uh, the corn must be different there. The flavor is not overly strong. Let's see. 
I'd give it maybe a 6 out of 10. I'm just going to rinse that flavor out of my mouth. Now, what do we have next? Dots Home Style Pretzels. And that's manufactured in the Manufactured at Dots Pretzels. Velva. Velva ND. No idea what that is. Apparently in uh, America. Okay. Dakota. Hmm. Okay. So let's see what they let's see what they got over there. If I can get my hands in there and get my fingers in there and pull out a pretzel. Let's see if that pretzel is really what we call a pretzel. Now that is a strange twisty pretzel. Mm, got a very buttery taste. Oh, Oh, it's loaded with butter and it's kind of got a garlicky sort of a flavor to it. Oh, that is kind of painful to eat. I'll give that a, a 2 out of 10. Oh, okay. Now for the good stuff. Um... We have here Goralki Goralki Original Goralki Chisovlak, whatever it is. Oh, I don't know how my wife talked me into doing all this taste testing because it's kind of scary. You know, I'm sure you enjoy it. Let's find out what this is all about. And if you enjoy it, maybe you like to get a munch pack because it's very thrilling. Now, oh, what is inside of this? Looks like some sort of a wafer bar. Oh yeah, where is this made? Not quite in English. Posca. P L. Is this maybe Polish? Hard to say. Whoa. Look at this. It's a wafer biscuit, but it's wafer on both sides and only chocolate on the outside. Kind of cheap, if you ask me, but hmm. my wife is giving me the hand signal. Don't put it, the whole thing in your mouth because I bet you she'll like to have a try. Oh, try. Oh, yeah. Polish stuff is very strong, you see? It's very strong. I should call this a strong Polish biscuit. Mm. Mm. You can taste the chocolate. It has a bit of a hazelnutty sort of a fragrance to it. Flavor. It's got a nice crunch to it. Chocolate kind of um, melts in your mouth. A little flaky, a little crispy. It's not so bad. Mm. First taste was a little bit weird, but the taste is growing on me. 
I would say that that could be maybe an 8 out of 10. Once again, I'm going to wash this, um, wash out all the flavors. All right. Now, what's up next? Assistant. I need something to wipe my hands on. There we go. Aha. Rainbow Twists. This looks very good. Happy World of Haribo. I've actually had some sort of Haribo before. I think these will be quite a treat. Only 50 pieces. And these are made in... Actually, they're made in Canada. No, England. They're made in England. Ah, that makes sense. I'm only allowed to have one of these. I'm just going to make a little tiny hole. Mmm, I can already smell the fruity flavors. So delicious. I bet you you'll like to have one of these tiny but wonderful rainbow colored treats. I want to smell like kiwi fruit and mango and a little bit of like a smells like a dirty foot almost. Well, not exactly dirty foot. I mean, it has the texture of like a licorice. Very fruity flavor. Mmm. I like it. A little bit sour, a little bit sweet. Kind of a mixture of fruits. You can kind of taste the strawberry in there. Mm, very nice. Hello? Oh, sorry. I don't even have a phone in my hand. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Skittles! From another country. Skittles Giants, three times bigger. Well. Wow. supposed to do with that. Lovely flavors there. Strawberry, lime, lemon, black currant, orange, same crunchy shell, the bigger soft center. What will be your favorite flavor? I think my favorite flavor is, well Ernie, what's your favorite flavor? My favorite flavor is, when I was little, I would like orange, but now I think I want lime, the green one. So let's find out. Well, I'm supposed to find a green one. Walking, walking, walking. Oh, I thought I saw a green one, but... I see it. Bear with me. I have found the green one. Now it comes. Yes. Look at the size of that. Look at the size of this. It's bigger than my eyeball. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Very lime. Very good. Got a crunchy shell. And it's three times bigger with a softer center. Oh wow. I can taste the rainbow. Sorry about all the sloppy S sounds. But that is good. Should I spit it out? Or should I swallow it? Wash it down with some tea. Oh, 
What do you say, honey? I think that's good. Oh, okay. Oh boy, what is this thing? This this doesn't even look like a snack. Well, what is this? Looks like some sort of herbs and spices. What the heck? Let's give it a let's give it a shot. Made in Taiwan. Ah, chocolate flavored. Ah, but what the heck is it? Open here. Okay. Let's open here. What kind of Taiwanese treat is this? Didn't everything used to be made in Taiwan? Mmm. The smell. It smells a little oily. Be chocolatey, so let's use those muscles. Oh, look at that! No wonder they say it's chocolatey, it's got chocolate inside. It smells a little oily. Mm. Not bad, it's got some sort of a red bean chocolatey flavor. Definitely very Taiwanese. Hmm. So, quite satisfying low calorie treat. Does it even tell you how many calories? No, Taiwanese people don't count calories. Oh well. Moving on. By the way, I hope you're enjoying this treat box as much as I am, even though you can't smell it or taste it, but you should almost be able to taste it and smell it. What's here? Oh, look at this character. Prince. Prince Chocolate. Mmm. This is made in oh boy. some sort of a country where they got this sort of this style of writing. I can't tell you what country it is because I can't read the writing. What the heck is that say? Sandwich biscuit? Yes. Sandwich biscuit with chocolate flavor filling. The rest is hard to hard to understand. Well, let's give it a shot. Let's give it a shot and see what it is. Chocolate sandwich. Oh, look at that. Almost reminds me of a Ritz cracker. And doesn't that look like a person, like a man on the design? It's the prince. No wonder. The prince is on the biscuit. Fancy that. Food fit for a prince. Hmm. What a smart idea, putting chocolate inside a Ritz cracker. But it's not, it's not a Ritz cracker. It's a Prince chocolate. Mmm. I quite like that one. I would give that one. It takes a little getting used to, but it's almost a 10 out of 10. That one's good. Now, only a couple of items left, so let's see what this one is. 
Oh, this one is not even in English. Oops, upside down. Cute teddy bear face on there. What is it? What is it? It's uh, Japan. Japanese foods always have nice, cute teddy bears and little sort of uh, emoji, anime sort of. Oh, look at this thing. That looks like a uh, dripping caramel. This is going to be good. But yeah, it looks like a soft, some kind of biscuit, possibly made from cornstarch, is my guess. Well, maybe not. We'll find out. Very cute. Look at that. Look at that, folks. Very small. Very cute. No design on the biscuit, but very cute. Mmm, smells really good. Even the smell alone is worth 11 out of 10. Oh. I can smell coffee and caramel, it's all infused into this tiny little proton pill. Mmm. Very good. What can I say? Very crunchy. It's like a hint of caramel, coffee. Very, very good. Mmm. I can just sit here and enjoy this all day with a hot cup of tea. Oh yes. She's saying, don't eat it all. I won't, my darling, just one. Mm. Definitely 11 out of 10, that one. Very addictive. Japanese treat. Very, very good. See? A little teddy bear. Teddy bear head on fire. If you want to check it out, there's a VR code. Right there. Snap! Right there. Don't move. Snap it. Okay, moving on. Save the best for last. Look at this. Bonnard Sweeties Gummy Caddy. I love gummy candies. There's bears, bottles, more bears, rings, worms. Not ringworms, just rings and worms. Mm -hmm. Oh, made with, made with fruit juice. And uh, made in the U.S. No, Sweeties.us. Made in Turkey. Turkey, where they make Turkish delight. Mm. Let's see if this is indeed save the best for last. Let's find out. Hmm. Wonder what I'm gonna get. Okay, Let's shake it up, shake it up. Oh, I just lost it. Shake it up and see what I'm gonna get. What will I get? What will I get? This one. Oh, it's stuck together. It's not good. It's stuck together. Okay, a wormy. It does remind me of the Turkish sort of a flavor. How do I know? Reminds me of Turkish delight. Mm. Tastes a little bit like um, sour. The pink part tastes, reminds me of when I was a kid, I would eat the, all the candy I ate when I was a kid tasted like lipstick. Yeah. 
lipstick flavored candy. What about the blue pot? Let's taste the blue pot. Maybe I should get rid of the red pot so I can know what the blue pot tastes like. Excuse me there. We're not well mannered here, we're just hungry people. Mm. Okay, blue pot. Hey, hey, blue pot. Mm. Suck all the sugar out, out of the outside, it's a little bit sour. A little bit good. Mm. Blue pot and red pot taste, uh, and the pink pot taste almost similar. Except blue pot doesn't have so much of a lipstick sort of a flavor. It has more of a blue raspberry flavor. Very good. I'll give this treat a 9 out of 10. And that's the end of the munch pack. Good on you, Ernie. So if you enjoy watching Munch Pack and you wish to see more, please let me know. And uh, these Munch Packs are available at munchpack.com forward slash shop. They aren't the cheapest. But if you want me to keep doing them, I'll do that for you. But you need to let me know so that I can keep making these videos and you can keep being entertained. Peace out. Bye-bye. Cut. So please follow, please subscribe, uh, please tell all your friends. Cut.